Hey guys, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here today. If you're new here, my name is Nikki and I'm a homeschooling mom of four. Currently, they are ages 13, soon to be 14. Um, and then they, they all, the rest of them all just had birthdays or um, we, we, I was due in June three times. Um, and so I only got one June baby out of that, but they, they so all the birthdays are right now. Um, but they are about to turn 10, just turned seven and just turned five actually two days ago. So, um, those are my kiddos and their ages. They are going to be in the new school year. They're going to be in grades nine. So our very first high schooler, um, and then grades five, one and K. So they uh, will have three in elementary school and one in high school. Um, and yeah, so that's a little bit about me, but let's talk about what is going on today. And today's video is a collaboration with Valerie over at our homeschool castle. So I will be linking her channel down below. Make sure you go and say hello to her from me. Um, but we are, it is just a secular homeschool mom chat. So we are gonna, she has provided us with a few um, questions to answer and so we're gonna answer those. So I will be providing also down in the description a playlist where you can go watch the other videos from Valerie and the other mamas participating today. Um, so make sure you check that out when you are done watching this video. So let's dive in. All right, so the first one is share something new about your life, homeschool or not. Um, let's see. Oh, I thought about this long and hard and I don't know that we have too much new going on and that might be my new thing because we are normally going and doing and traveling and, and have lots going on and right now there's just not a lot going on and it's so nice guys I'm really enjoying this like downtime peace time time to get my my life together and organized um, and you know like a routine is kind of going there's not been a lot of of all that much new and so I guess that's my new thing is that you know we haven't had a lot of change and turmoil or anything going on everybody's happy healthy and just cruising along so I think that's how I'm gonna answer that one <laughs> so let's move on to number two so you might see me kind of looking down and reading the question. That's just kind of how it's going to be. Um, so I'm going to read the question and then I'll answer it. The question is your favorite company or curriculum that jives with your family and why? So let's see. My favorite curriculum, I have a couple now that I, that I really, really like. Um, if you would have asked me this question last year, I would have 100% said pinwheels, hands down. Um, I really just love the how easy it is to use, how much, how easy it is to adjust to, to our style. Um, that's kind of what I look for in a curriculum, something that's open and go, but also can be adjusted. Like I don't want to have to stick to it exactly, but I also want it to tell me exactly what to do and say. <laughs> um, so, so I really like that you can like pick and choose what you do. So it gives you some freedom, but it also also tells you like exactly step by step how to do the things that you choose to do um, so that I really 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 love that one but Michael Clay Thompson is kind of coming in a really close second or you know maybe even a tie uh, I just think it's so well done and so easy to use and implement again tells you what to do but also you can you know choose what order you do them in or choose you know when to go faster or when to go slower and things like that so um, those might be the two that I would say here, but I have lots of favorites. I also really love Big History Project or the OER, OER Project. They have Big History and World History. Love them too. So I've got a lot of favorites, I guess, is the, is the best way to answer that one. All right, the next question is here is, what is your favorite thing about homeschooling? Um, and there is so much we love about homeschooling. So this one's going to probably be hard for me to answer too. Um, but they, mostly I think it's the freedom that it gives us. I think just being able to do what we want, when we want, how we want, as often or as little as we want. 
um, travel in the off times, just, just have a life, like, like, schooling doesn't control our life, you know, like, we're, I feel like public school, like, school controls when you can go on vacation and what your day is structured like and all of those things, whereas our life, di you know, dictates when we can fit in homeschool. So that, I think, is su such a benefit to, like, giving my kids an actual childhood, a rich childhood, you know, no, no stress, none of these adult responsibilities that they, you know, why do they need to worry about them now when they can worry about them when they're adults and enjoy their childhood? So I think that's probably my most favorite thing about homeschooling, but I do have a series coming out in um, July on Instagram that's why we love homeschooling. So you'll get lots and lots and lots and lots of things over there um, in that series. So make sure you've subscribed at homeschoolology.com or oh, no, that's the website at homeschoolology is the Instagram handle. So join us over there. All right. So the next one is share an example of what a good day looks like for us. So a good day for us, um, we typically just kind of wake up whenever we wake up. Everybody in the house kind of wakes up whenever they wake up, except for my older two. Sometimes I have to, you know, nudge them a little because they are entering those teenage years where, you know, they like to stay up late and sleep in early or sleep in late. Um, and so that, you know, we kind of all just get up. We get, you know, some my... my middle daughter when she was a little bit younger she said mom what is brunch and I said it's like when you eat like breakfasty lunchy around like 10 30 or 11 and she was like we have brunch every day and I was like you're right because <laughs> we typically don't eat breakfast until about like 10 10 30 sometimes even we you know we just skip breakfast all together and just have early lunch at 11 um and then after everybody's eaten lunch then we come to the table and I work with I either do my younger two together first or I do my older two and I kind of like bounce back and forth between the two of them. So like one will do something she can do independently while I do, you know, spelling with the other one and then we'll switch. She'll do something she can do independently while I do spelling with this one. And then we, you know, we'll, I'll just kind of bounce back and forth, helping them with the things they need help with. and they then they're still there and I'm still there to answer a question if they're doing something independently and they need a little bit of help so um that and then I'll switch you know the other the other kids that normally wraps us up around like maybe like three four um and then I I take a little time to myself like about for about an hour until dad gets home and then we um, cook dinner and eat dinner as a family. And sometimes dad will do math with the girls, the older girls in the evening. Um, and sometimes they'll do math with me during the day. It just kind of depends. So if we're having a good day, that's kind of how it goes. Um, and you know, if everybody's cooperating and participating, that's you know the structure that we like to do to kind of get through our things without spending the entire day doing homeschool. Oh, and then we will do read-alouds with my older two. So my younger two go to bed with my husband, and then my older two and I will do a read-aloud, and then they go off to bed. So that's when we fit that in. Um, so yeah, so that's what a good day looks like. And then the next question is, what does a bad day look like? So a bad day for us is a day where things are either thrown out of whack or people have bad attitudes. Um, that is kind of like the word, like what throws us off the most is when, when somebody comes to the table or with a bad attitude or doesn't want to come to the table at all and fights me on that. And that tends to set us up for failure rather than success. And so we've been working really hard on that this past year that, you know, it doesn't matter whether you want to or not. This is what we do. Um, and this is what we're going to do. And I found that like keeping a regular schedule helps with that, like having the expectation of this is when we do homeschool, like we're going to eat lunch and then we're going to do homeschool. Um, and just kind of really trying to be as consistent with that as possible has really helped a little bit with that attitude of like, well, I don't want to do homeschool. Um, and so that is a kind of a double whammy for you there, like what a bad day looks like for us and how, you know, I kind of work to combat that. 
Um, so yeah, so we have, we do have a lot of bad days. I mean, it's just, it's just going to happen. Uh, my, my oldest two are kind of in that like preteen teen years where they just, you know, are getting a lot of pushback, testing their boundaries. Um, and so I don't want to say that like we have mostly good days because we don't. Um, I, I, well, I mean, I would say more days are good than bad, but we have quite a few bad days where maybe like homeschool takes us until dad gets home because we, you know, had to struggle to get started or get going or, or participate or, um, or sometimes, you know, sometimes we might even, you know, dad might have to make dinner because we're still doing homeschool, um, because they just don't want to participate. Um, we try, you know, one of the best things that I've learned from, um, from Shauna over at Making Everyday Magic is like when things are starting to get like really contentious um, is I send them away like to their rooms for like five to ten minutes and give them a chance to calm down but give myself a chance to calm down as well um, and then I call them you know back with the with the expectation that they're going to come back and they're going to do what they're asked to do um, and that has been actually really helpful but if you're having to do that a couple of times it's going to extend your homeschool days so um so yeah so if we we're having a good day our days usually over like like homeschooling all four of my kids is usually done between like two and a half to three hours um but if we are having trouble and um not having the best day then it can take you know upwards of four to five hours but typically i don't let it go any longer than that we just don't do you know, we just do the basics, get the basics done, and then just move on with our day if we're having a bad day. So the next one is, how do you as a homeschool mom recharge? Or like, what is my self-care? Um, for me, honestly, like doing this channel um, and having some kind of like outlet that's like for me, um, my baking classes that I do, that that is, you know, kind of what like feeds my soul and ha helps me to keep going. I'm not really one for like, getting my nails done or getting my hair done or anything like that like that um I don't enjoy like bubble baths or anything like that um and so that is not really what I do for self-care doing for self-care it's like me being able to just like relax and not have like a bunch of like things coming at me so like going up to my room and just kind of you know being on my phone for a few minutes while my husband deals with the children downstairs and I don't have to think about it um or like even for me I know this is this is not great but for me going to the grocery store is self-care I really love going to the grocery store and shopping I don't know why I know it's weird um, but I really enjoy it so we don't do grocery pickup up here around here and my husband doesn't help with that because it's something that I enjoy doing so yes it's taking some of my time but I actually like it I like going there um, and so so things like that, just things that I know are going to bring me joy is what I do for self-care. Um, so yeah. So let's get to the le very last question for this video and it is share a free resource. So I believe that this video is coming out the very next week after I share two videos about free resources. So I will share those videos either here or down in the comments um, and or down in the description. <laughs> um, but I have two videos that was like, if I were to homeschool for free, these are all the things that I would use. Um, and so the OER project that I said was one of my favorite curriculums is actually 100% free. I use it on Khan Academy, um, which is another resource that's free that I've really been loving and using a lot. Um, and so those are probably going to be my top choices. But I, um, oh, and Prodigy Math, like my kids loved Prodigy Math. And there is a paid version, but the free version is very extensive. Um, and so we really, really, really loved that one. So those are probably going to be the ones that I should hear as my favorites. But if you want to see more, I have those videos that you can go check out. So that is it for this video today. Thank you again to Valerie at Our Homeschool Castle for hosting today. Um, I love this group of moms and I hope you guys enjoy listening to this video and their videos as well. Um, and I hope you will come back and chat with me again soon. So if you have any questions for me, go ahead and drop them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. I'd love to hear your answers to any of these questions down in the comments as well. Um, and while you're down there, I would hope you that you would subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and ring that notification bell if you want to be notified when the videos are coming out on this channel. So thanks again, and I hope to chat with you again soon. Bye.